You are now watching Always Fresh Apparel. YouTube, it's Always Fresh Apparel, and today is episode five, part two of my viewer submitted gear series. The reason you are here is probably because you watched my part one of episode five uh, before this. And if you didn't, I'm gonna put the link in the description to part one so you can watch that. Come back to this at your own leisure. Um, so today we are going to get into a couple more brands that have sent me gear. Uh, so let's just get started right away. I'm gonna show you guys jewelry first from people that hit me up, so let's grab it. First up from the jewelry, we have uh, bracelets and necklaces from the brand Domo Beads. As you guys know, I showed them off in a couple videos actually before, um, and I'm a rep for them. So if you wanna use Dope33 on their website, you will get a percentage off. So they sent me two items to feature in today's video. Uh, I actually picked these out myself. These, uh, this precious metals bracelet pack. So it came with these three bracelets. You, can't, you got a silver one, a gold one, and then a rose gold one. So as you guys know, I do have silver uh, jewelry, I have gold jewelry, and I have rose gold jewelry. So if you're wearing whatever those jewelry, you can throw this on and it will match with your left wrist um, or your necklace that you're wearing. So I'm definitely happy I got this pack. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. I've already worn it before. Um, so definitely feeling it. Last up from Domo Beads, they sent me this gold and tiger's eye necklace. So I'm gonna throw it on so you guys can see. So it drops down right about here on me. Definitely a nice addition to like a tank top so you can get a little bit of flare on the neck area. Um, so here it is, it's got these gold and tigers beads. Uh, very simple basically, that's all it is. Um, but the thing about Domo beads, I don't know if I've talked about, when you buy something on their website, you choose what charity you want part of your, um, your purchase to go to. So like if you pay $20, they'll say, okay, choose a charity. And you pick a whole bunch of these charities and they'll donate a certain percentage of every sale they make to those charities. So it's helping a good cause and looking good at the same time. Um, so I really like Domo Bees and I really like what they're doing. So link is in the description. You guys, continuing with this jewelry theme, we have four items from the brand Fellup Jewelry. Um, they also make jewelry as well as Domo Bees. So I'm gonna show them off and include their uh, website in the description below as well. So first up, we have this all black Shambhala bracelet. It's got these, this is really dope. It's got these gold skulls on the end. I'm gonna see if I can focus. Yes, yeah, so if you can kind of see a little bit, not really, but you got these gold skulls right here and it is a Shambhala bracelet because it is adjustable. So uh, throw it out on my right hand, adjust it a little bit. You guys know what it looks like. Next up, we have this red and like uh, turquoise beaded bracelet as well. And it interlocks like this. So you just toss that in there if I can even get it. Um, well, I'm failing right now, so I will show you in a second. <laughs> well, basically what you do is you throw it in there and you lock it um, and it will stay on your wrist. Uh, so there's that for you guys. So that's how it would look. It actually would match this. I, I would like to wear that with. All right, you guys, and next up from Fellup Jewelry, we have this clear and like red and gold dragon bracelet, uh, Shambhala bracelet. I think this is probably my favorite. I really like that it's clear and you can kind of see the reflections and all that. So it's got adjustable little things right there that you pull on, you know what I mean, that's the, the, uh, the Shambhala bracelet. And it's got these gold dragons right here. Um, so if I were to throw that on my wrist, this is what it would look like. Uh, very dope, uh, I really like this one a lot, so thank you fellow jewelry, I really appreciate it. All right you guys, next up, what I forgot to tell you in the last video, and this video is I actually just got back from shopping. Um, I went to Clackamas Town Center and in that mall, they have a Tilly's. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Tilly's, I know that they're a pretty big like retail store, um, so if you have a Tilly's, let me know in the comments. Um, so basically what I did is that you guys, I just got back from Tilly's. It's a nice big bag. Um, so what I'm doing right here is I'm actually supporting my friends, um, Travis and Sherm over at Brass. If you guys know, Brass always uh, has been rocking with me since day one. Uh, in the word out there about my channel. So I just thought I'd show a little support back and cop some of their gear. Um, I had a discount at Tilly's. Um, they were kind enough to, to, to hook it up. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys the, the the new collection of brass and their boxers are killing it this year So let me uh, let me pull these out for you guys just like half of what I ended up getting so I'm gonna show it off real quick I go large on brass boxers because the mediums fit me a little tight and I like a little room in my boxers I don't like to go boxer brief or tidy whities So this is kind of in between a boxer brief and a boxer so it, it provides really good support for you men out there, ladies. I don't know why you're watching this part of my video. Just kidding. All right, so you guys, first up, we kind of got like this forest green and this orange uh, band. 
uh, waistband and it's got this like cool like zigzag pattern uh, so this one was really dope I definitely had to pick this up I'm gonna try to find something to like match my my outfits with my, my underwear now so this one is definitely dope I'm feeling this one and probably one of my favorites just the I don't even know what the official uh, like name of this is but it's like all black with the black and gray waistband the zigzags on it this one is like really easy to match with. I mean, you don't even need to match your boxers to be honest, but if you wanna add that little extra flair. Um, so on the back, I'm gonna read this real quick. It says, custom fit minimizes riding up and shows off your body's shape. Uh, more supportive than regular boxers and less restrictive than boxer briefs. So like I was saying, it's like an in-between type deal. So it's 58% cotton, 37% poly, and 5% spandex. So bam, like that's just quality right there. You're getting really good quality from Brass, and I really like their new package. We got this gray and blue colorway, kind of like a heathered gray. Um, definitely a good addition to the wardrobe. I'm gonna wear this for sure. With that heathered gray, we got the same colorway, uh, except it is a black band, a uh, black and gray band instead of the blue one. And then my favorite, um, you gotta go all white sometimes. You gotta be like ASAP Rocky. You gotta, you gotta go on that all white fashion. So all white boxers from Brass. So basically that's all it is, is just uh, all white boxer briefs from Brass with the, with the four um, for Brass right there. Um, this one is dope. This is how many I have left to show you guys. <laughs> Rapid fire, brown and kind of like a reddish, like a heathered brown and reddish. Definitely dope, I really like that. Rapid fire. Uh, oh, this is dope. Uh, I forgot I got this one. Black and like a, a neonish green with like a yellow hints, uh, zigzag pattern right there. Love it. Probably again one of my favorites. Black and this uh, teal and turquoise. Definitely loving this one. Gonna match it with some crazy kicks. Uh, love it. Sometimes you gotta go stripe on them. So this will match perfectly with my LeBron 10s or my Ronnie Fog A6. You got a nice uh, Miami Dolphin colorway on this one. Love it as well. Going with the stripes, you got this gray and teal stripes with the bl black and gray uh, waistband. Kind of going simple again. You Oh, this is actually a really dope colorway in there, especially in the camera. You got like red and blue with the heathered blue uh, fabric right there. Loving it. And then the last pair up, going prison on them. You're getting black and gray stripes with this black and gray waistband. Loving brass boxers. That's all I wear, really. So. Um, if you guys want to pick up some, go to your local Tillys. They should have brass by now. Um, just got to support them, you know what I mean? All right, you guys, now getting to more of the apparel. We have one of the most talked about shirts on my Instagram ever that I'm showing off for you guys today. This is like my second most liked picture ever was a picture of this t-shirt right here. Um, it is by Melange, Melange, Melange Clothing. I really hope I'm saying that right, homie. Uh, this is by Max. Uh, Max and I are, uh, are we're cool, we're friends. Um, so he owns Melange Clothing. Let me get into the shirt real quick. Um, as you can see, it's just all white polyester shirt. So it's not cotton, it's like a very lightweight fabric. Um, very easy to like wick away moisture and uh, keep you cool during the summer. So basically it is inspired by the Kugi sweater. I think that's how, how you're supposed to say it. Uh, you know like Bill Cosby and like Biggie Smalls, uh, Notorious B.I.G., whatever you want to call them. They all wore these sweaters back in the 90s. You know that picture of like Biggie Smalls counting money, you know? He's wearing a sweater like this. So what Max did is he took inspiration from that and made this like drip down effect of the Kugi sweater. Uh, so it only goes on the front and then on the back you have Melange clothing, so M-E-L-A-N-G-E. -E. The kicker in all of this, Max is 14 years old. 14 years old and he's able to design such a sick t-shirt. So I know that this dude is going places. Um, if you want to cop one, link is going to be in the description. I got myself a medium. Fits perfectly like a medium, almost kind of like a, a little oversized medium, which is what I like. Um, so if you guys want to support, link is going to be in the description. Thank you again, Max. You guys, next up we have a couple tees from the brand 7th Heaven. Uh, so this tank right here, it is all black and it's got this white 7th Heaven right there with these white stars going across it. I, this one really caught my eye when I picked it out of the website. You guys know black and white tanks, awesome. I love the way they look. Match it with a hat. Because if you do like black and white tanks, you can go like crazier on the shorts. Um, so and crazier on the kicks. So that's why this one really caught my eye. I got this in a size large. If you guys want to check it out, link is going to be in the description. They also hooked it up with this other t-shirt that they do, uh, all like heather gray with like tiger's eyes right there and the tiger's eyes are like blue, which is kind of a nice little touch. You got some like little symbols going on right there, a little Chinese writing. I don't really know if it's Chinese or Japanese. I mean, I don't, I don't know that kind of language. Um, but I got this one in a size large as well. This one fits me perfect. It is fits like a size large, um, which is what I wanted to go for. So 7th Heaven, thank you guys. Uh, truly appreciate it. You guys are hooking everyone up. 
All right, you guys, next up, we have a couple tees and hats from the brand Savage Brand. Um, so these guys are dope. Uh, I actually did a little interview with them, so I'm gonna put the link to their website. I'm gonna put the link to the interview in the description down below. We just kind of chopped it up a little bit, talked a little bit. So basically, these guys caught my eye um, because of, honestly, this shirt. <laughs> this is the shirt that caught my eye. I really like it. It's all white, and it's got their Savage, like, tattoo-inspired, um, logo right here but the thing that caught my eye is this black trim on the sleeves uh you never see that really in companies um they never really do stuff just on the sleeves right here so i thought that was a really nice touch i think it looks really good um so i was like yeah dude like i'm i'm feeling what you're putting out so this tee is awesome i got it in a size medium if you guys want to know then they also hooked it up with this black and gold savage tank top so same uh print right there just this is a black and gold tank top I hooked it up with two hats so we have two hats here. This one is like an all red uh, floral with the bla black brim and it says grind on it on the front, black snaps. This one is an all leopard uh, hat and it says grind on the front as well. Uh, black brim, but it's got a leopard under brim. So a lot of leopard cheetah inspired stuff going on there. So here's what that one looks like on me guys. Actually really a dope. This color combination right here is just really working for me. Uh, I'm really liking that one as well. Um, and then this one, you know, fits the same because they're made by the same uh company you know that's how it is right there so thank you savage brand link is going to be in the description for them so check it out you guys in the last item up in this episode is my from my boy derek he is the owner of ben rare you guys know i show him off a lot he gave me that all over tea he gave me a lot of t-shirts in the past and this dude is awesome he's always rocking with me and i'm always supporting him tweeting out stuff uh instagramming doing whatever in his gear uh so he sent me this uh, baseball jersey. It is like that Marilyn Monroe tee. As you guys remember, I got that before. And she's got like all these tattoos on her face and stuff like that. You got the star right there of her. Uh, some like scratches right there. Um, this is so sick. I got this in a size medium. He was just like, yo, I'm hooking you up with the, the baseball jersey. And I was like, dude, thank you. Because this is like, he only puts out like five pieces. So like only five other people in the world like have this. Um, so he's all about his like exclusive one of one really like limited stuff on the back It says rare across the top right there I'm not sure if I want to leave it unbuttoned uh, or like wear a t-shirt. under. I think a white t-shirt under it looks good um, But I don't know if I want to keep it buttoned or like leave it like flared I'm not really sure yet. Let me know what you guys think in the comments which way I should rock it But this is definitely gonna be a staple in my wardrobe from now on so thank you Derek thank you Ben Rare so yes that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching let me know what, what your favorite was in this video comment down below uh, so thank you guys again so much for watching thank you all the brands um, I really appreciate it and I'm really hot right now so I'm trying to go as fast as possible so I can get this dang thing off me so thank you guys again so much for watching and remember to stay fresh my friends peace